describing the inauguration as a fulfillment of his ministry's commitment and responsibility to come up with policies that will strengthen Nollywood, the minister said the challenges militating against the industry must be eliminated. We as the supervising ministry need to work with a formidable representative group that is a panel to lobby for the growth, development and welfare of the industry and its practitioners as well as make for a better organized and more visible and vibrant movie industry. And for this to be achieved, he called for a more united body. The minister, however, dispelled insinuations from some quarters that the federal government intends to set up a content regulatory agency or a new parastatal. The nearest thing to Mopicon today is, I think, uh, in Nigeria, is, I think is the APCON. If you look at the advertising industry, it's not too different from the movie industry. When government wants to talk to the advertising company today, it talks to them through APCON. When the advertising industry wants something from, you know, government, they come, you know, they come to us through APCON. So what we are trying to do is get that umbrella body. The sooner Nollywood practitioners and creative practitioners learn to realize that we need each other to work and talk to talk then the sooner we will be able to get a document that government can work with that will help us and make us bankable for infrastructure support and investors to come inside because at least now you know that if you invest your money in Nollywood in any way you are likely to get it back. The committee whose duty it is to help fast track a bill that will be sent to National Assembly has three weeks to submit its report. In Lagos, Anthony Forson, NTA News.